I love how a lot of religious people now, especially after the UFO hearing, keep commenting on my videos and other creators' videos. Those aren't aliens, those are fallen angels. Hate to break it to you, but you're also a fallen angel. Yep. Are aliens fallen angels? Yes and no. If you look at the etymology of fallen angels, it's actually fallen angle. Light is consciousness. We all have consciousness. As long as you can perceive the word I, you can differentiate yourself. You have consciousness. You are aware. And light, like a light ray, it falls right into different realms. We are all fallen angles of light. We are all fallen angles of consciousness. Aliens are the same thing. So just as much as you are calling that alien a fallen angel, you're also a fallen angel. You are a fallen angle of light because you're in the third dimension, which is probably the densest dimension there is. You got to ask yourself, you know, if you're all high and mighty and you're one with God, how did you end up on earth someplace that is so hellish and everybody sins? Well, how did you end up here? Aren't you also a fallen angel? And this is something a lot of religious people are not going to like. These aliens actually come from higher dimensions. Now, I don't want you to think higher dimension means good. It doesn't. All it just means is that the physics of that dimension is different from ours. It's a lot grander. Compare a 3D cube versus a 5D cube. That is the difference. Now, because they come from a higher dimension, they're actually not fallen. You are the fallen one because you're in a lower dimension. People don't understand what the word angel means. Now, I have a video. It's literally pinned to my page. I have seen angels. They are nothing like aliens. What the U.S. government is talking about right now are aliens. These are interterrestrial or extraterrestrial other dimensional entities that have a form, mostly humanoid form, where they're standing on two legs. These entities have their own cultures, their own beliefs, technology. They have colonized planets. Angels do not do that. Real angels, the true definition of angels, they do not do that. True angels are observers of the matrix. They make sure everything is in order. It's an overarching energy. This is why you have the word archangel. This is why when a lot of people see true angels, they see wings with eyes. Why do you think there are so many eyes on angels? Because they observe you. They perceive you. They see right through you. Angels have an extremely intimidating energy to them. They are not love and light at all. They are almost like warriors. Now, people who have been abducted by aliens, they don't describe them the same way as angels. Aliens will take a bipedal form for the most part, and they will either have a very loving energy, depending on what race they are, or very evil energy in which they use you for probes and stuff. Stop giving so much power away to aliens. Stop calling them fallen angels. You're making them sound like they're so much more powerful than us. When in truth, human beings, our DNA, we are even more powerful than them. We just forgot how to access it. 